Hello, I'm Will. Welcome back to the Digital Imaging Channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the first four factors that will affect the price of your paper scanning project. Before hitting the factors, a quick note on pricing. This will really depend on your project specifics, but a general rule of thumb is that for a standard banker's box, you're looking at roughly $150 to $225 very ballpark pricing, but it's at least a starting point before you reach out to companies and get into the details of your specific scope of work. You at least have a high level idea of how much it could cost for your project. Factor number one is the quantity, which in paper world, that could be number of pages, number of binders, number of boxes, cabinet shelves, etc. But it all comes down to how much paper do you need to scan? Higher quantities generally mean lower unit pricing. So even though the project as a whole is more expensive because you have so much of it, each unit, like a page or a box, each of those on an individual level will be lower than if you had a smaller quantity of material on your entire project. If you don't have a lot of records, you're gonna be falling to the small project category. And the reason those are relatively more expensive on a unit level is because it takes just as long to set up a small project as it does a large project. The second factor is the type of record you have. And what that means is What's on your files? What kind of data are we working with? What are, what's the information that you're handing to us for us to scan? And sensitive data like medical records, student records, criminal information, police reports, things like that that have confidential or sensitive data, there are different security levels we put into place depending on the type of record for a project. So the higher security level you require, that generally means it's gonna be a little bit more expensive because of what goes around that to protect your data. When you have sensitive records like that, we have different security levels and processing methods to actually execute your project. So when you do have sensitive records, confidential data, things like that, we actually have to do the project differently than if you handed us just public information. And because of that, it may be more expensive. Factor number three is file organization and complexity. And basically what we're getting to is how are your files organized? Paper projects come in all shapes and sizes, and when we receive them, how they're organized and the complexity of getting them ready for scanning is definitely going to affect your project. So if you have a lot of binders or files or paper clips or staples or rubber bands or separators or sections within folders, the more touches we have to make to get your files and pages ready for scanning, the more expensive it's gonna be because it takes longer to handle and get the paper prepped. And if you're looking to reduce costs once you hand off your records to a scanning company to do the work, you can actually prep them yourself a bit. It's always gonna require a little bit of prep from our side to make sure that the files are ready to go through a scanner because if there's something left over like a, a paper clip that was forgotten or a staple or something, that could ruin the scanner. So we're always gonna have to review that. But you can reduce your cost by doing some prep up front before you get the records to us. And lastly, factor number four is material condition. You basically have three conditions when we receive it that we gauge the projects. Poor, fair, and good. Poor is, this is gonna take a lot of work. There's a lot of repairing, taping, unfolding, flattening, whatever it is. These records require a lot of repair before getting into the scanner. If the records are in a fair condition, they're not perfect, they're not just ready to blast through a scanner, but they don't require as much work as the poor condition materials. Yeah, a few paper clips here, a few staples, some repairs, minor things but overall, not too bad. And then good quality material is, we get it, we know it's not gonna be a lot of prep. Sure, there's always a little bit, but it's not gonna be a lot of work getting them ready for scanning. We're basically gonna receive the records, do a little bit of prep, and then they're ready to scan. So there you have it, the first four factors when it comes to paper scanning costs and digitizing your hard copy paper records. Keep an eye out for the second video in this series, which will cover the final three factors for paper scanning costs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.